Welcome to part two of Types of Apex Applications. I'm going to select Interactive Report, then I click Add Page, and you can see that second page now shows up inside of the hierarchy of the pages that make up my application. Because I selected Report and Form, I get two different pages automatically. Each one of them is indented to show that they are subordinate to the pages before them. I can add more pages here. And even when I add more pages, I'm certainly not limited to those pages. I can delete those pages. This is just a way of automatically generating the types of things that I'm going to use moving forward in my application. When I click on Next, I'm taken to a Shared Components page. One of the really powerful things about Oracle Application Express is the ability to reuse elements over and over again. Shared Components are available to any application some of the most common things that I use a shared component for would be like a list of values. I can define a list of values that's either based on a static set of values or a dynamic set of values that I query from the database. I can also copy shared components, as you see on this page here, from other applications within my workspace. So I may have a bunch of sophisticated applications that have shared components, like lists of values, like web service references, that I can copy and reuse over and over again. Since we're just getting started, I don't have any shared components yet, so I don't have anything to copy over, so I'm just going to click Next. I can then set various attributes that are associated with this particular application. I can define different authentication schemes. I can use the Oracle Application Express authentication scheme. If I use this, I will have to create users inside of the administration of my workspace for users who are going to be logging in and using this on a regular basis. I can use a database account, and I can even use sophisticated authentication schemes like against an LDAP server inside of my Oracle Application Express application. I can define how many levels of tabs I want inside my application. And again, even after I define this, I'm not locked into this. I can go back and change this at any time. Same thing with the authentication scheme. I can define what will be my default language for this application. I can define user language preferences defined from maybe the browser, the application preference, the item preference, the session preference. I can select different date formats as part of my application, date time formats, timestamps, time zone formats. I can change any of these pieces around as part of my application. But again, even after I define all of this information, I'm not locked into it. I can go back and change it at any time. One of the most powerful features of Oracle Application Express is something called themes. A theme is nothing more than a collection of templates that indicate how your application is going to be presented to the end user. Out of the box, Oracle Apex provides you with these basic themes for your application. The key thing to remember is that you are not limited to these themes or templates. You have the ability to go in there and change anything around that you want. You can create your own templates, combine those into brand new themes that you then make available to all of the developers inside of your organization. You'll notice that some of the themes have an HTML5 icon next to them. Those are themes that incorporate HTML5 features. For this example, I'm going to use the standard productivity applications theme. But again, you're not limited to that. You can change it at any time. As I mentioned earlier, almost all of the wizards have a confirmation page of the wizard at the very end. So after I've selected all of the different pieces that make up my application, I can go through and confirm that this is all of the different pieces that I want, and then select Create Application. Oracle goes out and generates a whole bunch of information behind the scenes as part of PL SQL packages that make up your application. I'm then placed into the main page for the application that I just created. I can go back using the breadcrumb menu here at any time to see the different applications that are available to me. If you remember earlier on this page, we did not have any applications defined, but now we have a movie maintenance application that is defined. The buttons along the top here allow me to change how that information is displayed on the screen. If I want to see large icons, if I want to see it as a list, or if I want to see it as more information here in a detail view. I can then use the Actions dropdown as part of my list to select columns that I want to filter by. I can define the different filters that I want to use for this report. I can set how many rows I want to see per page. 
the type of format of the report, I can then make changes to the report and save my own personal copy of the report. Once I do that, anytime I log in, I can then pull up that saved report and not have to go through and reformat everything that I want to see. As part of saving the report, I can define it as a private report that only I can see when I log into Apex or a public report that everyone can see when they log into Apex. I can also download the information on this particular page to an Excel spreadsheet or some other format. We'll take a look at all of these different pieces when we start looking at interactive reports. So here's my movie maintenance application. At any time, I can pull this up and start editing the pages that are associated with movie maintenance, or I can go ahead and run the application. Let's click on movie maintenance, and this will take me into the application builder developer page for this particular application. As you can see, I automatically have four pages generated for me. I specified that I wanted a home page, and right now there's really nothing on there. There's a movie page that's a report, a movie page that's a form, and a login page that's generated for me automatically. I have the ability to go in there and change any of these pieces around that I want. I'm not locked into the options that were presented to me as part of the wizard that we use to create this application. I could have specified many more fields and many more reports and other pages and regions as part of that wizard process. Or I could have just selected the name of the report and selected Create Application, and it would have created the application for me without any other pages, and I would have to go through and create all of the different pieces for me. So this section has talked about the different types of Oracle Application Express applications that are available to you out of the box, and how to walk through a real simple wizard so that you can create an application very quickly.